I had come to a dry patch in my film career. I was getting scripts and doing scripts that I really shouldn't have done. I did them for the money. I did them just to keep a career going. I was not really happy in doing them. I hadn't had a picture for some little time where I was really totally wrapped up and happy in, in uh, what the work was and how it was going. The offer was made by Fred Brogger and James Franciscus to do what they termed uh, what would be a feature film, but to be shown on television with uh, maximum resources coming from NBC and maximum additional sources coming from outside for potential theatrical release around the rest of the world. So they were conceived as being feature films, but to be screened in this country on television. And I thought a little bit about it. I thought a little bit about Heidi being essentially a child's story, a little girl's story. And I started to reject it on that basis alone. And they said, no, wait, we've, we've got a new script, a new idea. Uh, we, uh, Earl Hamner did the script. We've changed a lot of the characters from the original piece. We think that when the audience sees it, they will feel that they are seeing a reincarnation of the book. But a lot of characters have been changed greatly to give them more real motivations for what they are doing. I read the script, I liked it. And we got a very good cast of uh, Jennifer Edwards, who was Blake Edwards' daughter, and Michael Redgrave, and Walter Slezak, and Gene Simmons, and Maximilian Schell, and the lure of uh, shooting in Europe, which I had never done before, half of it in Switzerland, the interiors in Hamburg, was a very great one. So I, I said, yes, I'll try it. That led to an immediate bunch of additional the, uh, literary classics, which had not been done on film in a long time, with something to say to a today's audience, uh, molded to be a family type uh, viewing of David Copperfield with a, the best, most major cast I ever had in my life, Jane Eyre with George C. Scott and Susanna York, and uh, Kidnapped with Michael Caine, Trevor Howard, and uh, a whole bunch of wonderful British actors.